Hi everyone, I'm Ying Zhang from Texas A&M University. Today, I would like to introduce our recent work, a model of two tails, dual transfer learning framework for improved long tail item recommendation. This is a collaboration work while I was intern at Google. The long tail distribution is a typical phenomenon in many large scale data sets for different areas, such as computer vision, natural language preprocessing, and also in recommendation. Especially in recommendation, different from the other areas, both the user and item have the long tail distributions, particularly for item size. With the rapid increase of number of items, the long tail item distributions are highly skewed and heavily influence item recommendation. For example, as shown in the figure, some movies are very popular, such as the Star Wars, while a large number of movies only have a few user view counts. The highly skilled power law distribution can heavily influence the recommendation model performance, especially for the tail items, known as the color start items, causes a large variance on the tail item recommendation prediction, and also brings the model bias, such as the rich gets richer feedback loop, and also other issues. Therefore, in this work, we aim to consider the item long tail distribution to improve the recommendation on tail items, and also at the same time, relatively keep or improve the overall performance. Here is a quick overview about related work. The most common is the strategy to elevate the long tail distribution influence in recommendation is to add the user and item rich content information. And there are also some other strategies, such as resampling as a related regularization in the loss function. However, most of those methods do not fully consider the long tail distribution patterns in recommendation and the relations among head and tail items. Considering those problems, in this work, we propose a new direction to explore the item long tail distribution in recommendation. That is, Consider the transfer learning to utilize both the semantic relations and the distribution patterns in the long tail item distributions. So, one important question is how to effectively transfer the information inside the item highly skilled long tail distribution. To transfer the knowledge in long tail distribution, there are several challenges. First, many existing transfer learning methods that transfer the knowledge from a source task to a target task have an underlying assumption is that the source task and target task have similar data distributions. It ensures the high quality of knowledge transfer. However, in the long tail distribution, this assumption does not suit well since there is a large gap between the head and tail item distributions. Second, besides the distribution differences, head and tail items could show significant diversity in both user preference and item content features. So, another challenge is how can we improve the recommendation for tail items and also keep a relative improved overall performance at the same time? Considering those challenges, we propose a novel dual transfer learning framework called MIREC that explores the knowledge transfer in long tail distribution from both model and item level. 
For MI rack, here M represents the model and I represents the items. Specifically, for the transfer learning across models, we utilize a meta learning to learn a meta mapping from a few short model parameters to many short model parameters. This meta mapping captures the implicit data augmentation in model level without changing data distribution. For example, given an item with a user feedback, it learns to implicitly add similar users who could give feedback to the item. Besides the relation across models, we also explore the transfer learning across items by using curriculum learning. The item level transfer learning considers the divergence between head and tail items. And it ensures the learned meta mapping from head items can be suitable applied for the tail items. Let's look at the details of our proposed model. Our model is based on the state-of-the-art two-tower model. First, a brief introduction about the two-tower model. It contains user and item towers, which are multi-layer perceptual models, as shown in the figure. The inputs are user and item features, and it will learn a corresponding user and item embeddings. Then, based on the embeddings, it calculates the user preference goal towards the items. Based on the two-tower model, our model framework is shown here. It contains two parts. The first part is the meta-learning for user and item towers. The second part is the curriculum learning that we utilize different training data set distributions to better learn the tail item representations based on the head item representations. First, let's look at the meta learning that learns the knowledge from few shot model to many shot model. Here, we use the item tower as a toy example to show the basic idea about the meta learning in MI rack. The item tower on the left hand side are trained based on the rich data samples such as the whole training data set, known as many shot models. Here, theta star represents the model parameters in many shot model. The item tower on the right-hand side is trained based on relatively few data samples, such as using down sample method. And theta here is the model parameters for few shot models. Then we learn a meta learner F that explores the uh, connections between theta in field shot model in theta star in many shot model. Here is the loss function. We can see it contains two parts. One is the meta mapping that learns the model parameter mapping from field shot model parameters to many shot model parameters. The other is a few shot model learning. A good performance of few shot model learning could help the meta mapping to maintain high accuracy on the base recommendation task. Traditional meta mapping is only based on the head items and applied to the tail items. Therefore, a basic assumption for the traditional meta mapping is that the learned meta mapping for head items and the tail items are the same. However, in recommendation, head and tail items could be diverse and there are much more tail items than head items. In this situation, the traditional meta mapping could constrain the learning of tail item representations leading to suboptimal performance, especially for the tail items. Therefore, here we utilize curriculum learning to connect head and tail items, ensures the smooth meta mapping transfer from head to tail items. The basic idea for curriculum learning is to stimulate the human learning process that human can learn better if the examples are well organized such as the knowledge learned from easy to hard. 
and apply it to machine learning process. Here is our proposed curriculum learning. The data is first trained based on all the user feedback as shown in yellow color on the left hand side, which we denote the training data as the Omega star. Then we down sampled the head items and keep the tail item distributions as the second accumulated stitch, as shown in the blue color on the right hand side. Since we consider all the tail items in both curriculum learning stages and keep the long tail distributions, it can ensure the tail items are fully trained and at the same time, L with the BIOS brings from the new distribution. Now let's look at the experiment. In the experiment, we mainly target on two questions. One is MIREC performance compared to the state of the art method. The second one is whether MIREC learns to a reasonable representation for two items. We use move and length 1 million and the book crossing data set where we consider both user and item content information, such as the user locations and item genres. We also consider the user and item IDs here to be consistent with previous two tower model settings. Here, the CDF shows that item distribution in both data set are in long tail which is consistent with our problem settings. Since we aim to improve the tail item performance and relatively keep the overall performance, we evaluate the overall performance head and tail item performance separately. We think it would be a good performance if the overall head and tail item performance are improved at the same time, which we actually find very hard. Here is our experiment result for moving as one million data set. Compared with the other state of the art method, we can see our proposed model MIREC brings large improvement for two items and at the same time relatively improved overall performance. We also explored the learned representations of two items in MIREC and the backbone model to tower model. Here is the 2D visualization of two items on moving less 1 million data set. The color represents the moving genres. Compared with the two tower model two item embedding learning, on the left hand side, we find the movie clusters from MI rack on the right hand side is more coherent with the movie genre information. In summary, in this work, we proposed a novel deal transfer learning framework that explores the knowledge transfer in the long tail item distribution from both model level and item level. The meta learning in the model level captures implicit data augmentation and the curriculum learning in item level mainly used to connect head and tail items. Experiment results show MIREC brings improvement for two items and at the same time relatively keeps the overall performance. Furthermore, the learned item imbalance by MIREC contains more semantic information. In the future work, we are interested in improve the curriculum learning in MIREC and explores other types of content information, such as the user social network. Here is a, re a reference for the representation. Last, I would like to thank all my collaborators, Derek, Tiansheng, Xinyang, Li Chang, and Ed, and, all the, and also the whole SIR team for their great help, and all the audience. Thank you.